Hi, my name is Drake, and I make music, and this is Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos is a three-dimensional, immersive, object-based, multi-channel audio format developed by Dolby Labs for film, game, and music production. So what is that? It's speakers on the ceiling, right? Well, kinda, but that's not the whole story. Let's start from the top. We start with mono, one speaker, dead center. Voice, drums, instruments, all in one place. A good speaker can sound great, but there isn't much room for separation of the instruments. For that, we need stereo. Now you can spread the instruments across the soundstage as if you were at a concert. Then, in the 40s, we got surround sound. <laughs> Wait, that can't be right. Uh... Disney and RCA created a complex multi-channel playback system called Fantasound specifically for showcasing Fantasia's excellent score. Huh. The more you know. Now, we have two dimensions covered. We can have music in front, behind, and all around us. When it was time to expand upwards, though, Dolby decided they needed to do something different. You see, up to this point, all mixes were done, quite literally, by mixing the sounds together. Once you have things printed, the audio is locked. You have all sounds, instruments, effects mixed into a single audio file for each speaker, playing back from the speaker it was assigned to. There is no way to separate those sounds again. wanted something more flexible, something that would sound great on a variety of setups. So they created Atmos, an object-based audio platform. You describe where the instrument or sound is supposed to be in three-dimensional space, and the rendering engine does the work for you by splitting it to the speakers available, no matter the arrangement. This allows for high fidelity, accurate renders to take place in a wide variety of setups and it sounds incredible. And yes, there's speakers on seal.
Now, if you look at a lot of resources out there, Atmos may feel out of reach for the bedroom producer. I'm here to show you that it's not. You can easily make a rig, interface, program, and speakers all for well under 3K, which is still a lot, but it's achievable. All you need are the following tools. A DAW with a built-in Dolby Atmos rendering engine like Cubase Pro 12, an interface with at least eight channels of line outputs like the Motu Ultralight Mark V, a whole ton of speakers, and a little bit of patience to learn the systems. Cubase makes making Atmos easy. They have a setup wizard to help you with all the buses and routing you need for an object-based mix. They have several multi-channel plugins for mixing and mastering in surround and Atmos. With the Control Room app, you can control all your outputs post-fader so you don't have to worry about a ganged pot on your interface. And they even have a per-channel delay plugin for manually calibrating your speaker placement. Thanks, Steinberg. All right, real talk for a second. Um, as I've been working on this project, I've run into a few things that are kind of frustrating that I believe should be talked about. First off, distribution. YouTube doesn't do Atmos. I don't think Vimeo does Atmos. I'm not a member, so I don't know. Tidal can do Atmos and Apple can do Atmos, but I can't upload to Tidal and I don't have a programming degree, so I can't upload to Apple myself. I need to use a distribution platform like DistroKid is the only one I could find that can do Atmos, but you have to pay for their $20 a year subscription fee and then 27 bucks per track to upload your Atmos stuff. That's 300 plus dollars per Atmos album if you want to upload it through DistroKid. Okay, that's ridiculous. So what if I just want to sell Atmos tracks to people so they can just play the tracks on their own stuff? Well, you can't do that either. My Blu-ray player can't play Atmos. My TV can't play Atmos. My receiver can't play Atmos, even though they can deliver it from a Blu-ray or Disney Plus or whatever. Uh, don't get me started on computer stuff. You have to have a professional program to do it. You can use New Window or Logic Pro or DaVinci Resolve 18 to listen to an Atmos file, but those are professional programs. Consumers don't have that. I guess Dolby makes a reference player. If I could buy it, but I can't. I don't even know how much it costs. Don't get me started on trying to stream from a computer. On Mac OS, you can do some complicated loopback nonsense and kind of make it work. I can't even figure it out on Windows because it's trapped behind Dolby Access, so I can stream Disney Plus, Netflix, and Tidal through Dolby Access to get the binaural mix on my headphones so the information is there but I can't output it to speakers unless I have a Dolby certified motherboard whatever that is I mean even professional studios use a second computer and an Apple TV through a decoder and then go through a Dante virtual sound card to put it in their original system it's a nightmare Dolby needs to make this easier for consumers otherwise it cannot be adopted it needs to be easy to upload distribute and for people to listen to Come on guys, work this out. Anyways, mixing in Atmos is an absolute joy. There's just so much room to put every instrument. Nothing gets in each other's way. Listening to Atmos is equally as fantastic, even binaurally on earbuds. There's just so much space around the music. It makes a stereo mix sound f Now this little rig won't get you Dolby certified, whatever that means. And it also won't be a Disney grade mixing suite, but it's still a ton of fun and allow you to mix your music in a way you've never experienced before. So if you want to get started and start screwing some speakers to your ceiling, give me a call at Sweetwater, 800-222-4700, extension 3271. Ask for Drake. <laughs>